Hi, and welcome back to Wednesday Wisdom here at Judaica.com. I'm Ozek, this is Hana, and it's our Passover edition, yes, right? Yes, We have, uh, yeah, we've, uh, we've done the first days. <laughs> we have the last days to get through. Uh, I'm sorry, by the way, for the inverse Wednesday Wisdom yeah. sign you see behind you, because we are short-staffed here in the office, yes. and we are doing this <laughs> on our own. Yes, we don't have our normal uh, shout-out to Bracha, who normally runs the camera. Right, Bracha office. is away, and uh, so they we're, yeah, we're on our own today. Um, what we want to do, I hope, first I hope everyone here had a, um, a nice first days. We, uh, we had a quiet one. Yeah, I don't know good. what about you, Hannah, you were. It was nice and quiet. I was yeah. home. It was good. Okay. I was, uh, we, uh, we were on our own. So <laughs> we have guests. <laughs> so you know, hopefully, hopefully um, shout out to my sister-in-law, brother-in-law, Joey and Ariella Herschel, who are coming, uh, and my mother-in-law. So it's going to be packed. It's going to be a lot of people. We have nine people coming for the, for the last days. Um, I wanted to talk, we, we wanted to talk about the wedding season that's coming up. I know that now that Pesach is hopefully behind us, so we are getting to, into the situation where people are going to start, you know, their weddings that they've already planned are coming, uh, are coming up. Mm-hmm. And there are a number of different things that are important for to people to know about weddings. So first thing is, is that we do have a very registry. Uh, Judaica.com, you can just click on wedding and uh, you'll be able to sign up for the registry. We just redid the whole, the whole uh, section. Mm-hmm. You'll be able to, you know, click on a registry, create a new one, add to see a lot of different functionality. We have a lot of also products that you might not have thought about um, your wedding, a um, big uh, a big thing now in the wedding space are breaking glasses. I don't know how many people are familiar with it. When I got married, it was just the glass that the caterer provided me, and it got crushed and then got thrown out. Nowadays, people are oops, <laughs> buying uh, these uh, these nice little glasses that are colored or not colored, whatever it is, and you it comes with a. This one is ours actually. It comes with a. A little bag, Jewish Essentials. You can't read this backwards, but right. it's our brand. It comes with a bag yes. and a, a cup, and you stick it in the bag, and obviously it gets stomped on. Yeah. Um, and then what you do is we sell these uh, keepsakes, yes. and these are keepsakes, something like this, where you can put the broken glass in a vial, and obviously it comes in a sculpture. Popular also, and we'll be putting out some of our some some new stuff also is. Uh, in a mezuzah, so you can see this mezuzah, so you can put the, uh, one vial is for the glass, and the other is for the scroll, mm-hmm. and there are, you know, we have a, we have a, we have a lot of different options. a lot of different options. This one has the, the glass in front and the, the scroll in back. Mm-hmm. Um, there's a lot of different options for, for wedding. Wedding has a, uh, you have a lot of options, a lot of, lot of different things you can do. Also, just to let you guys know, there's obviously the ketubah yes, that, uh, that you get through, and we can provide you, you know, the, the keep eyes for the for the ceremony benchers if you need them, um, everything you know, obviously yeah. of course the wine too. We as yeah, part we of our partnership with uh, our sister company Kosher Wine, yeah. we can handle wine as well. Um, it's a very I, there's a lot to talk about, and, and you're you're certainly welcome to ask any questions that you have either about the different procedures or stuff like that. And I think over the next few weeks we'll probably start fleshing out. A little bit more in the wedding space, uh, going through ketubahs, I think we'll, we'll have a okay. section on maybe talking a little bit about the ketubah itself, mm-hmm. what it represents. Um, we will start getting into, you know, all the other things. I think, that, you know, maybe the wedding ceremony in general, understanding the chuppah and, you know, certain, yeah. certain things about it. Maybe we'll get some guest pe- speakers in here to, um, yeah. to talk about it. Uh, yeah, it's very, I think it's exciting. I think we, uh, we're, we're pumped about about the weddings, uh, what, mm-hmm. what doing weddings and, um, and, help, and helping people out. Absolutely. Uh, again, if you have any questions, let us know. If there's any parts of, you know, at this point now, we'll, get, we'll start doing our series on weddings. Right. If there's questions about weddings yeah. that you do have, we're happy to help you out and answer. Um, and any comments that you do have, either about the, the show itself or, you know, anything else going on. Yeah. Remember the code Wednesday, uh, wisdom. 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 Just Wisdom. So it'll get you. Uh, it'll get you some savings on our site at judaica.com, uh, which you can't read because it's backwards. Yep. Um, it's judaica.com. Exactly. That's the. Uh, it's, it's, it's easy to remember. Simple. Yeah. Uh, and we look forward to uh, seeing you guys next week. Yeah, absolutely. And if you, you know, even if you don't have a question specifically that's general. 
questions about wedding and you have something specific that you want to know for your wedding, whether you can personalize your ketubah in a certain way or certain fonts, um, that's something that we're here for to answer all of those questions and help you get exactly what you're looking for. Right, exactly. We can, right, we'll talk, and we'll talk about that, the different exactly. language, languages and, and personalizers. It's not mm -hmm. personalized with the ketubah, getting the... It's filled in exactly. by the artist beforehand. You're filling it at the wedding. You know, there's a lot of... Uh, there's a lot of, like, intricacies into getting different things done. And that's what we're here to help you, whether it's personalization at Ketuba, keep out ventures, keepsakes. You, you could hear it in Khanna's voice that she has a very, very close relationship with our customers that call yes. up with questions about personalizing the Ketuba. Yes. Um, all right, wonderful. Well, happy Passover. Uh, we look forward to seeing you guys next week. Yep.